everybody, the Bearded Prophet, Jesse Teal here with another video on how to help you maintain your beard, body, and soul. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the details of maintaining your beard. You may have seen one of my previous videos, which was the full tutorial on beard trimming, which started with everything from the beard shampoo and conditioner all the way into trimming and finishing off with your beard oil to give you that awesome style that you're going for. But today I'm between my beard trimming, so it doesn't mean that we're clear and free of having to do any maintenance. What we want to do today is we want to work on lining up our beard lines here and here. Now, if you have a little bit of a shorter beard, you may even want to go into lining up down on the neck area, or if you have it all the way up the jawline, you'll want to do the same. Now, properly maintaining the details of beard can actually go a long way. People make comments about my beard all the time, and one of the things that's most commonly said is the fact that it's so well-groomed to maintain, and that's why they like it. So even though that we're trying to get that fullness, we're trying to get that length, and we're letting it grow out, it doesn't mean that we have to just let everything go wild. We want to try and line things up. We want to try and be as presentable and clean as possible. So as we're letting it grow, a lot of the times you're going to have those little hairs that are growing out here. And I like to keep that nice and smooth. And I want to maintain that line in this area to make it very distinguishable of where the beard begins. Now, in maintaining the beard line, you have a few options. First, you can use your electronic trimmer with a bare blade and go in with a steady hand and try and get as close to this area as you possibly can, creating that line, but also getting all the little hairs that are growing in from the cheeks. Now for me, that doesn't quite do the trick because I like to keep a little bit of a smoother surface and I like to get a nice close cut, which brings us to our next option, which is using an actual blade. Now you can invest the money into getting a single blade, which can get kind of expensive. So what I do is I use your regular razor. That's right. We actually do use razors as bearded ones. Now I use uh, the Dollar Shave Club Executive Razor and they actually get a really, really nice fine cut. So first we wanna wet our blade, preferably with hot water, because it kind of acts as a lubricant and it's nice and smooth as it goes across the skin. But then we're gonna take our blade and we're gonna come down along that beard line and we're gonna create that line going across the cheek like so. And once we've created that line, then we're gonna make a second pass and we're gonna actually come down across the cheek this way, towards the beard line. What I do is I usually come down and as I get to that line, I lift off and making that nice, fine, clean cut line all the way across. Now, what's really important is that you want to use some sort of a, a feature of your face to know exactly where that line is going to be on both sides. That way you're even and you're level and you're not lopsided one way or the other. That part is really, really important when you're maintaining a nice presentable beard. So with that being said, I'm going to wet my blade real quick and then I'm going to use the mirror that's just to the side here and you're going to see exactly how this is done. and smooth nice clean line of course I'm gonna have to do that on the other side as well but once I do I'm gonna have a nice and clean cut beard and the key to this whole thing is presenting our beard the best we possibly can now for those of you with more sensitive skin you may be use a shaving cream when doing the uh, cheek area or especially if you're doing the neck area I highly recommend that you do use a shaving cream but uh, I have found that as long as I put water on the executive blades that uh, I don't have all that sensitive skin but I get a nice clean cut and I don't get any razor irritation or razor burn or anything. So once you're finished there, you're good to go. Look at the difference I've got. I've, this is undone versus done. I think it makes a big difference. And as I mentioned, maintaining these details of a beard can go a long way, give you a nice, clean, and presentable beard to where you're ready to go and change the world once again. Thank you so much for watching this video. With the Bearded Prophet, I'm Jesse Teal, and I'll see you next time. Now go be great.